All right, so let's go ahead and start with the ball underneath one hip. You're gonna to travel to the other side in a moment, but you're gonna pin that ball right under the hip here and lay on it. Now this can be really intense. Your hips are heavy. So if it's too much weight, you can do this by pressing the ball into the wall. All right, we're gonna take some really nice deep breaths here. And you should be feeling this. We'll just get a little closer for those that are still finding the sweet spot between your hip point and the top of your femur bone, right in here. Now breathe deeply and notice. Notice where you feel hard spaces, right? The bone, harder muscles. And then breathe really deeply and allow those harder spaces to start to soften. Responding to the presence of the ball. See what else might be holding tension in your body and allow that to also relax and melt. Last couple of breaths here before we start to Roll onto the back. Really complete your exhale and then allow yourself to shift onto your back and move the ball now onto sort of the left side of the upper crest of your sacrum. So the knee is right about here. Relax your jaw, breathe deeply. And you've got about You've got a little time here on the kind of the left side of the sacrum or whatever the same side as the, the hip you've been on. And breathing nice, deep, full breath. Yes, you're probably moving around a little bit, but more important than anything is just the, the heaviness of the hip structure weighing down on the ball or against the ball if you're at the wall. And then from inside, from the, from the hips themselves, feel a softening, a meeting of the experience. And you'll start to come over to the opposite side of your sacrum, the other half. There are so many little interesting nooks and crannies to explore here. We could spend the whole 20 minutes doing this, but we won't. I do invite you with these shorter sequences. You can press pause anytime and keep going for a little longer on an exercise you like. And definitely in today's sequence, there will be challenging parts. You can press pause and just take a few breaths to rest in between exercises. For now, bring your awareness directly into this part of the body that's receiving the gifts of the massage work. Let the hips drop heavy down into the experience and melt around the ball. You will find yourself very soon rolling to the opposite side now, the back, <clears throat> and off of the back and onto the hip again, the opposite hip, the one you haven't done. And then are you skipping on your breath? Is there some part of you shying away from some of this experience? What does it feel like to just give yourself over to it, to trust the process? What if you took this really big inhale with no hesitation, no fear? And then a big complete exhale as you let it go all the way out. All right. Now, from here, you're gonna find yourself onto one side again. So you can actually just stay where you are. I'm gonna turn this way to see my face. All right, and you're gonna have your knees bent. 
You can be propped up on your arm or your hand here. Now check out your knees. Look at um, the knee that's on top. Push it forward a little bit so that that knee goes a little bit further forward than the bottom knee. So your hips are a little askew. The top hip, the, the top knee are a little further forward, okay? Then the knees themselves are up in line with your hips, not pointed down away from you, but here, okay? Top hand on your hip, clamshells. Keep the feet together and just lift the knee and lower the knee. So the knees separate and return. Yep, that's it. Engage your belly. Mm -hmm. And this should be targeting the, the like deeper kind of underneath your glutes, right? So you're, that's the lifting leg. You should start to feel that in your butt on that side. If not, kind of askew the legs a little bit more, bring the knees up higher. You should probably be feeling that already pretty strong, but I'm gonna give you another few reps. Yeah, okay. We're gonna do one more thing on this side before we flip to the other side, and this is challenging. You can do a little side forearm side plank. So you're gonna take that, that bottom forearm down on the ground, the legs straighten now. You can take that hand up to that top hip again, Straighten your legs and see if you can pick your hips up. Woohoo! All right. We're going to count five more breaths here. You can either just raise that top arm up. You could take that hand to the head. You could look up. Mm -hmm. Now feel your breath, hear your breath. Ujjayi breath, if you know what that is. So like a nice, strong, heated breath. Okay, now let's try this. Can you look down and go to a forearm plank? Woohoo! So there'd be some core work here. I adjust my costume here. Yeah. So here we are. Look forward. And then just go ahead for a moment, lower your belly back down and take a cobra pose. Or sorry, a sphinx pose. Right. So my forearms stay where they are. My legs come straight and press down into your feet and your forearms. Press your chest forward and up as you press your arms back. And you should be able to shine the heart forward and up and get some breath in there. Everybody take a big inhale. And then stick out your tongue, bulge your eyes, make a big face. <sighs> Fabulous. Okay, we're going to the opposite side. So you can just roll on over. So I'm gonna flip myself around. <clears throat> Since I'm on camera and you're not. Okay, uh, we're doing the clam shells next, right? So take your time, set this up again. Knees up kind of in line with your hips. Top knee and hip go a little extra forward, right? So your, your chest even maybe kind of facing the ground, right? So we're in this slightly askew position. Feet stay together, top knee lifts and lowers. Notice what else is involved here, right? Your inner thighs are probably working. Your belly is, should be engaged, drawn back toward your low spine. But overall, we are looking for there to start to be a little heat deep in that left side of the butt. Breathe, feel, stay in the experience. Notice where there's resistance and can you dissolve the resistance? So you're just right in it. You're right in the heat of it. A few more reps. Doki, you're gonna come into that side forearm plank. So you're gonna straighten the legs, lift up so that you come on to that lower forearm. And then you gotta kind of flex the feet, right? Lift the hips whew, and breathe. Okay, really root down into the earth. The top arm could lift or maybe that hand to the side of the skull. Maybe the head slightly turns up. Three more breaths, one. Two, three, look down, come into your forearm plank. If you need a little rest in child's pose, great. Otherwise, five breaths in forearm plank. Those of you who wanna get a little more challenging, bring your feet together, lift one foot up, and then switch, other foot. We're almost there, big deep breaths. Take one more breath with both feet on the ground. 
and then go ahead and lower onto your belly. And now everyone, you can just place the, place the hands underneath your forehead. You can rest, you can wiggle the hips a little bit. Thank your body for firming up places that have been a little soft. And we're softening places that have been a little over heavy, right? What a gift. Okay, twisted gecko. So you're gonna take your hands off of your mat a little bit wide. You're still on your belly. You're gonna tense your fingers. Your elbows should be directly over your wrists. Lift up through your chest. And then exhale, dip the left shoulder down, look over your right shoulder. So it's a little twist in your upper body. Inhale, come up straight. Heart opener, exhale, dip your right shoulder down, look over your left. And then continue. Inhale up, exhale, left shoulder down and twist. Inhale up center, exhale, right shoulder down, look over left. Again, inhale, come up. Exhale, left shoulder, dip. Inhale, come up. Exhale, right shoulder, dip. Place the hands underneath. We can come back up to center first and then go ahead and place the hands right under the forehead. Again, wiggle out the hips. Take your hands alongside sort of your upper ribs, your chest area, and you can come up to a little cobra with your elbows squeezing together. Or if it feels yummy, you can come all the way up into an upward dog. And then let's all go downward dog. Two more breaths, just feeling downward dog. Rooted hands and feet. Strong belly, lifted hips. And then you'll walk yourself forward until you end up in a standing four fold at the front of your yoga mat. Hanging over the nice, straight, strong legs. So the, the legs are, well, they don't have to be totally straight. I like to actually bend my knees a little bit, especially in my first forward fold of the day, but the legs still feel strong, right? They feel sturdy. The upper body feels soft and kind of uh, like a little rag doll, right? Just hanging. In every single pose, there will be some place that really needs to be strong and some place that needs to be soft, right? Unless you're doing a totally soft restorative practice, in which case everything's soft. And then you'll go ahead and just round your way all the way up. And find yourself in Tadasana, so nice, strong, firm, standing pose. I get set up. Give you a little different view. So next, we're going to do a, uh, just a little standing sequence that involves moon salutes. For those of you who know moon salutes, um, and even for those of you who don't, <laughs> we can follow for all of you. Um, so the arm gesture that we're about to do is you hook thumbs and the arms lift straight up, okay? And then legs, I'll add in the legs. So I'm gonna hook my hands, my arms come up. Now I'm gonna fold forward, bend my knees and put my belly on my thighs. Then I'm gonna swing my arms back, interlace the fingers and start to straighten the legs. Again, the straight legs don't have to go all the way straight. And then let's reverse that. So coming back up, I bend my knees, I swoop, I uninterlace my fingers, I swoop my hands up, hook the thumbs, come up, inhale. Let's do that twice more just like that. So you bend the knees, so you really kind of catch your own belly on your thighs as the arms come back, fingers interlace, legs straighten, head drop. And then reverse it as you inhale. Bend knees, swing arms in front, hook thumbs, reach up, Open your chest. Let's come forward again. Bend the knees, belly on the thighs, interlace fingers, drop the head. Now let's add on. So go to skiers pose. So that's with the knees bent, belly on thighs, arms straight back. Then step your left foot back. Okay, you now here's where you might want the blanket underneath your left knee, right here, okay? If your knee is sensitive, but you're just gonna lower that left knee down, okay? Great. This might feel good just to stay right here. Otherwise, hook your thumbs and reach up. Stay nice and strong. Everybody stay for one more inhale. You're really lengthening. Pull the belly in, lengthening from hip to heart. And then go ahead and place your hands down. 
pick up that back knee, you're in a low lunge, then raise the right arm. You may want to block under your left hand. Stay here five breaths for one. Feel the breath. Two. Feel the lines of energy. Feel the different poles here from your back heel to the crown of your head. Four. Exhale. Five. Beautiful. Simply look down. Take this right hand down. You're going to step back to plank pose. You could do some form of a vinyasa here as you breathe out. Make sure it feels safe in your body. Upward dog or cobra on your in breath and then everyone down dog in your out breath. Stay here, breathe in. Stay here, breathe out. Stay here, breathe in. And then look forward and either step or hop your feet forward between your hands. And we'll do that whole thing on the other side. Inhale, lengthen your spine. Exhale, fold down into your legs. Bend your knees, hook your thumbs, come all the way up, big breath in. Come right back forward as you breathe out, bending the knees or soft landing, belly on thighs, bend the fingers interlace, the legs straighten, the head drop. Inhale, skiers pose, lift up through your chest, sit your hips back. And then step your right foot back and take your time. We'll do this transition a little smoother next time. But for now, just go ahead and lower that right knee down. Take your time. Be safe and gentle. Engage your core. Hook your thumbs. And as the heaviness of your hips and back knee drop down, strength of your belly and the lightness of your heart lift up. Then hands come down. Low lunge. So the back knee can lift. And then open it into a twist. Left arm lifting. One. Breathe in. Two, the healing happens first with the awareness, right? The awareness, the breath. Four, so keep returning that awareness inside. Exhale, five. Good, look down. We're gonna meet in downward dog. Anybody who wants to take a little vinyasa detour is welcome to. Now we're going to do that whole sequence one more time on each side, just a little smoother, with a little more flow and um, adding on just a little bit at the end. Look forward, step or hop the feet forward between your hands, lengthen the spine when you arrive, and then fold down and breathe out. Hook thumbs in front, bend your knees, big inhales, rise up and stretch and open the front body. Exhale as you bend the knees, land the belly on the thighs, interlace your fingers behind your back and back. Skiers pose, inhale, sit the hips back, reach the heart forward. Left foot steps back and that left knee lowered with care and core. <laughs> Hook thumbs, inhale, reach up. Exhale, take the hands down, low lunge, pick up your back knee. Raise the right arm, take a twist. Look forward and uh, down. Now here's what's, what's next, standing split. You're gonna now pick up the left foot off the ground. Pick up your chest and then fold over your right leg and just let the head drop here and breathe for one. Root down through your right foot. Like there's a column, like your leg is a strong column and it's got a, a a part of it that goes all the way down toward the core of the earth. Breathe deeply for four. And then the upper body is light, soft, hanging, dangling. Five. Now, look at your right foot. Cross the left foot behind it and to the right of it. Okay, so from the front, it looks like this. I'm crossing my shin with the right shin in the front. And you might just want to hang out here for a moment and feel what it's like. You can kind of move the weight to different parts of your feet and you'll get a slightly different stretch. And then when you're ready to round on up, 
and once so once you come all the way up, you can hook your thumbs up overhead as we've been doing, right? And then take a little lean away from the left hip. You kind of push that left hip out as you push your right shin back. Should get a little bit of a stretch there. One more big breath. And then let all that go and just come to stand with both feet next to each other on the ground. Take a couple of breaths, return to your center. And let's try the other side of the sequence. See, it's a little, going a little longer. I will get us off here before. Um, okay. Hook thumbs, inhale, reach up, big breath in. Exhale, bend the knees, belly on thighs, then interlace fingers behind back, straight leg. Inhale, skiers pose. So sit the hips back as you reach the heart forward. Step your right foot back as you exhale and lower that knee. Hook thumbs, big breath in, reach up. Hands to the ground, breathing out. Pick up your right knee. Lift up your left arm. Stay here as you breathe out, leaning back your heart. Good, then left hand comes down. Here's another place, locks under each hand for some people, right? Shift weight into hands and left foot, pick up right foot, lift chest, and then dive down into the left leg. Breathe, deep breath. One. Breathing, two. Three, notice what's strong and sturdy and supportive here and notice what's given the opportunity to relax and be supported and let those parts just really hang out in the experience. Now, you're gonna start to take the right foot behind into the left of the front foot. You can lengthen your spine here and then really drop down into the experience of the stretch. Feel your breath. You might wanna move the weight a little bit from foot to foot, front to back or side to side as you experience different versions of the stretch. And then head dangling, arms dangling, you'll round yourself all the way up. Take the arms out and up, hook thumbs. And this time you'll lean to the left, right? Because what's happening is that front shin is really kind of clamping the right shin. And then as you pull away from the right side, there's extra experience of stretch, right? All right. Then just come back to standing, come back to neutral spine. Our next step is gonna be coming onto hands and knees so you can get there however you want. I'm gonna do a little vinyasa transition here, but you could just step back coming onto hands and knees. Okay. From hands and knees, slide your left knee forward for pigeon pose. Okay, and get yourself nice and set up for pigeon. However, uh, it's best set up for you. We're just gonna wind this down and take us, take us on home. Lengthen the spine at first, and then go ahead and let yourself fold forward into pigeon. Yep. Put something underneath the head. A lot of people will need something underneath that left hip. And then take these really deep, full breaths. Deep, full breaths. Feel how whatever is heavy in your body is wonderful. It's an anchor, right? It brings you toward the earth. We need all that heaviness, so honor that. And feel that all the spaces that are soft and light, we need those spaces, honor them. And as we honor both heavy and light, they come into balance. 
Feel how the light parts get breathy around the heavy parts, kind of dance around or cushion the heavy parts. What a gift. Last couple of moments here, you're welcome to add in a little sound. I love doing some vibration work here. So if you wanna join me, you can, you can take a big inhale and then do a deep low hum, deep in your hips. As you inhale, just come on up, come back onto hands and knees and switch sides, right knee comes forward. And this is how we're winding down for this practice today. So take your time settling in, give yourself the opportunity to really get comfy here. And then once you're comfy, you can approach the breath and let the breath approach the pose. until you become the breath and you become the pose. Fully accepting everything that's heavy here. It's a gift of anchoring, grounding, solidity. Accepting everything that's light and spacious, that's soft and cushiony. And let these light parts and heavy parts dance together. And then if you want to add in that hum, take a deep breath. And then hmm. So breathe and come up, choose one final pose for yourself. There's one final simple pose, unless you're going to go on after this, which I very much recommend if this 20 minutes just gets you off and running. Great. I'm gonna to choose to just put a block right under my sacrum. Let the block support the heavy flat plate of my sacrum. And I'm just gonna lift my legs in the air. So I get a little simple inversion practice to close. You get yourself into whatever position you would like. Take some deep breaths. And when you are ready to wrap it all up, just make sure you take a moment of gratitude and sincerity to close your practice.